This is our second 10 minute series. Remember to work at your own pace and follow Porsche for modifications. We're starting in a seated position with our hands behind the back of the knees. Lift the chest and then drop the shoulders, hollow it out like the letter C. Reach the hands forward and press your shoulders down away from your ears. Tuck the chin in slightly as you roll halfway back for four counts and bring that up and keep the spine curved. And again, bring that back, hollow it out, and then come back up. Now really pull your navel up and in. Now we're gonna open it out to the front. Open it and bring it up. Flow with it. It should feel really good. Curve the spine. Hollow it out. Pull your navel up and in. Very good, you've got one more each side. Open it out. Bring it up and out. Bring it up and bring your hands behind you. Next, we're gonna do the can-can. We're gonna try it slow for the first repetition. Bring your knees and feet up off the mat and lift your chest just that little bit higher. Here we go. Pivot the hips. Pivot the hips to you all the way up on one side. Now straighten and lengthen. Here we go. And pivot, pivot, pivot. Now keep your chest lifted. Pivot the legs as much as you can. You're gonna be working your obliques. They're the muscles in the side of the body. Very good. Keep your chest lifted. You've got two more, here we go. Pivot, pivot, and reach. Last time, pivot, 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 and reach. Bring the legs forward now, flex your feet, sit up tall, reach your hands forward. Now imagine you're leaning over a balcony, hollow yourself out and reach forward. Now slowly roll yourself all the way down, one vertebra at a time. And we bring the arms up, you're curling up, you're reaching forward and getting a stretch. Now roll it back. All the way down, slowly and smoothly, arms come overhead. Now, check out Portia. She's doing this with her knees bent. That makes it easier. You choose which variation you feel comfortable with. And draw it back, keeping the shoulders away from the ears. And roll it all the way down. So you're going to inhale as the arms come up. Exhale as the back comes up. Reach it forward, get a stretch and then inhale as you come back and then exhale as you come all the way down. Very good, sweep the arms around, bring the knees up to chair and we're gonna do a single leg stretch first. Breathe in, exhale and curl all the way up. Now take your right leg, straighten it, place one hand on the inside of the left knee, other hand on the outside of the shin. Here we go, and one. Two, just like that. You inhale, inhale, and exhale, exhale. Hollow yourself out. Breathe with it. You've got two more each side, one more each side. Very good. Bring the knees in and lower it down. Next, we're going to concentrate on our obliques with a crisscross. Bring the hands behind the head. Inhale, exhale, and curl up. Now straighten your left leg. Pull your right knee in towards your opposite elbow. We're gonna go slow and pivot. Twist the upper body, keep the hips square. Pull the opposite elbow back. Move with control. Stretch out your legs. Breathe. Very good. Two more each side. One. One. And two. Two. Very good, come back down and lower it all the way down. Next, we're really gonna challenge ourselves with a double leg stretch. Breathe in. Exhale, peel yourself up off the mat. Hands are on the outside of the knees. And now reach and pull it in. You inhale and you exhale. Pull your navel in, hollow yourself out. Reach and lengthen, very good. Keep your chin pulled in towards your chest slightly so the back of your neck is long. Very good. Breathe. One more.
Good. Now hold this one out. Reach and hold. Two, three, and release. Pull the knees into the chest. Now for our next abdominal challenge, we're going to do single leg scissors. Take a big deep breath in, exhale and peel your head, neck and shoulders up off the mat. Now straighten out your right leg, bring your left leg up. Now this leg is straight. Now you can keep this one bent if you're tight in your hamstrings. Hollow yourself out and pull the abdominals in. Let's begin. Inhale, exhale. So you can do it one leg straight and one leg bent. Or you can do it with both legs straight like Liz Beth. It just depends on your flexibility. Make sure you're hollowing yourself out. Pull the navel up and in. Lengthen as much as you can through that hamstring so you get a nice stretch. But work within your own flexibility range. You've got four more each side. Very good. Bring that leg in. Get a good stretch. Breathe with it. Keep pulling the navel up and in. This is the last one. Very good. Now bring the knees into the chest and lower it down. Now hold on to your shins. Pull the hips up off the mat and roll up till you balance. Now hollow yourself out, tuck your chin in. We're gonna roll like a ball. Let's begin. Back and up. Now make sure that you're staying off your neck. Hollow yourself out. Pull the navel up and in as much as you can. Round the spine. So you're massaging the spine. You got two more. You got one more. Here it is. Very good. Now we're going to roll over for swimming. This exercise is excellent for strengthening all the muscles in your back as well as your glutes and hamstrings. So, real bonus work here. Stretch out the arms, but pull the shoulders away from the ears. Stretch out your legs and have them about hip distance apart. Breathe in, exhale, lift the navel up and lift the arms and legs. Now start with the left arm and right leg, slowly swimming. Two more like this. Now pick up the pace. Get the legs up as high as you can. Coordinate the movement between the upper body and the lower body. Keep it going, lift a little higher. Four more. Four, three, two, very good. Reach and let it down. Bring the hands under your shoulders. Push up till you're on all fours. Now walk the hands in so they're directly underneath your shoulders and your knees are directly underneath your hips, about four inches apart. Tuck the pelvis under, drop the head and round the back and stretch that out. And now reverse it and arch. Let's do that again. Tuck it under, pull the navel up. Drop the head and inhale and lift. Now exhale and stop right in the middle. Pull your abdominals in and up, really tighten there. Now you're gonna take your left arm and your right leg. Now reach it away and bring it back. Now you wanna make sure that as you work, there's no movement in the torso at all. You're using your abdominals to stabilize the movement. Pull the navel up and in. Now we're adding into this movement. Reach out, now come out to the side, bring it back and lower it down. Now with this exercise, you wanna make sure that you're keeping your abdominals as tight as possible. Lengthen and reach as you work. Reach away, bring it out to the side. Bring it back in and down and reach. Open it out, reach away. One more each time. Bring that out. Reach away. Lengthen. And bring that down. Now keep your shoulders away from the ears as you reach out with the arm. Keep the hip high. Point the toe. And down. Now just sit back for a moment, stretching out your glutes. And now come forward. We're going to use the muscles in the upper and lower back once more. Bring the hands forward. Now, you can squeeze your thighs together, or if you have tightness in your lower back, separate the feet hip distance. Bring your head onto your hands and hold it there. Now, take a big deep breath in. Exhale, lift the navel up. Lift, rotate, center, and now to the other side. Lift, rotate, center, 
and down. Squeeze the muscles in your back. Very good. This is the last one. And bring that down. Push back. You have just completed your second 10-minute series. You should give yourself a big pat on the back. <laughs>